So today I'm going to be giving you a sneak peek of one of my Minecraft worlds called Adventurers. It's going to be a series on my channel about a group of characters adventuring in Minecraft. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek of their world. So the skin that I am dressed as is the main character here. And then this is the main character's small little house that he's just moved into. It's quite nice, isn't it? Bed, a few paintings. It's quite nice, but a bit cramped. So that's that will fit in with his story. And he also has a backyard here with a nice little outdoor patio. And then if you look down there, there's one of his friend's house. So down there, where I'm walking down the stairs now, I'm looking at, that's the char another character's house. And then if you look there, there's the sword monument, which, they, um, which is the symbol of this world, with a nice dock leading out to it. And then you can swim underneath here, underneath it all. Nice wall, some nice coral. And then I'm thinking somewhere over here will be another person's house called Dolphy. That will be a dolphin. And then over here, I'm thinking this will be another character's house named Jack. So this is his house. It's a small house, but very modern and nice house. Have a nice window there. And then upstairs, you have a small little room, a bedroom. Through here has a big balcony. That tent we'll explore later. So, and look, this is the path that I did. It's nice attention to detail, a mailbox. And then if you come down here, we'll explore this house. That will belong to the girl character in the series, or one of the two. So here's like a little lounge area where you can just relax. And then here we have the TV in this house. Three blocks of TV. You have a nice little kitchen oven. And then if we come up the ladder here, behind the little lounge thing, we have the bed, a chest and some books and a nice rail. And then come back down the ladder and go out the door and out the fence gate. We'll go to the other house that's right down the road from it. And that's another character's house I can't remember the name of. With some little lounge chairs with umbrellas. And then here's a t three block TV in this house, a nice little lantern, a bed in the ground. It's not the biggest of the house. Close the door, out the fence gate. And then if you come back down the path, you can see my pool, or the main character's pool. It's not a big pool, some diving boards as well. Oh, some nice little lights hanging down from below the stairs. That's quite nice. If you keep coming this way, there's a character's house named Bunny, which will live here in this little borrow. There's a closet and stuff there. And then if you keep coming down here, there's going to be a nice village where they interact with the villagers. So here's one of the villager houses. If you look, yeah, nice little kitchen cupboard, railing, some books, the usual. If you can jump down here, some little market stalls. And then here's another house, which has some stairs and oven, a kitchen. Oh, a nice little dining table. And has a bed and, and a nice upstairs level that's quite nice. And then if you follow this path around, there's another house here. Where it looks like a blacksmith. And then if you come down the path to the dock, 
you would have normally a boat in the series to go across or you can swim across to the other section of the village. So this is another section of the village with more stalls to market and stuff with more paths. Another little house here for some villagers to live in and this house is exactly the same. And if you come back down along this path, you can go along to the big manor of the village. Up over the bridge, there's a nice fountain. Come around. And then here's a path. Well, that's a ni another village house that's quite nice, exactly the same as some of the others. And then here's the big library at Slash Manor. So there's some stairs. This is quite nice, actually with a nice balcony you come out onto the balcony and a giant woodland mansion over there that will be some like a haunted mansion where they go into for an episode and then if you go back along there you can swim through the dam wall and go swim back in through there or you can go walk up the way we came but I'll, I'm gonna swim up under through the gate and you can see the underside of the, the Sword Island. And then he will come here, just jump over the fence. So down here, there'll be a hall where you guys can get added into statues and they'll have rooms below them so you guys can have your names put on them, like your usernames or whatever whatever you want to be called, you can have that your name put down in the hall in one statue and you pick your statue. So we're just going down the stairway that's going to lead us down there. Okay, let me get down there a bit faster because this is a bit slow. Yep, that's a bit faster. There you go. And if you come down here, I've built one statue already. It's of the main character, and I'm and I've built a bit of the roof and the bit of the walls. I've just got to finish clearing this all out. I'm gonna have a statue behind. Dolphy statue is gonna be behind the main character here, just like there-ish. And then we'll be built up, and then I'll have dig this out so I can have two more statues on either side. So one at the back, one at the front, and then same on the other side, I'll go, we'll dig out. So there'll be similar, there'll be halls in most of the worlds that I've got so far, but with different characters, different rooms, and we'll go down and see the main character's room. So this is the main character's room, his house. Doesn't lead anywhere, of course, but it's a nice little detail. Here's some nice little hills. Some hidden lighting, oh, nice little tree, and then this is where you guys will get. This is where you guys will get your names added on the board. So yeah. Now let's go back up, and so it's this wall at the back. I'm still in the process of doing that. You can see where caves used to be, but I've gotten rid of them. Uh, here, but, and that's the statue with the hair. And what I've done with the hair is used concrete powder. I've just added some string below it, so then it stays above, and it adds some nice texture to the head. That's what I like, and some hidden lighting as well. And then I've got some water on the stairs. Wait here, let me get up. Yeah, and we'll go up the stairs super fast. And we'll come back up here. Where there's this tree area that will be there. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Bye!